Hello, 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 everybody. It is Chrissy Hannes coming to you live, not live, from Crestview, Florida. Um, the reason I'm not live for the 11th day of the 12 days of Christmas is I would currently be in Ohio when this video airs, getting ready to go watch the Ohio State versus Michigan State football game in Columbus, Ohio. So for my project, everything we've done has been kind of quick and easy. The one sheet wonders, some gift packaging ideas has been shown. I wanted to bring the Christmas Everywhere kit to you. It includes everything you need to make the projects, including dimensionals, the block and the stamp set and the ink spot, Lost Lagoon. And I'm not gonna make, this kit makes nine cards and you get some extra pieces from the trees that are shown in the directions. I will be using the palm trees on two of my cards because, well, let's face it, I am from Florida. But the pieces that come even have glitter, so you don't even have to add bling. So it just makes these kits quick and easy to go together. Um, so that's what I'm gonna show you for my project for the 11th day of Christmas. I looked at the lyrics and couldn't really find anything about 11 lords a-leaping that would go anything with our stamp set, so I couldn't really tie the 11th day lyrics into my projects for you today. So we're gonna get our stamping out of the way first. You get 12 of these little sheets, so you get three extras in case you mess up, and they come pre-stamped a little bit, so we're just gonna stamp a couple images and snowflakes. And I'm currently inside at my dining room. I'm not out in the she shed, so I do not, I normally wouldn't use my ink spots. Um, I would normally keep those um, for door prizes and stuff. But like I said, I'm in my dining room and I didn't bring a Lost Lagoon ink in with me. So we're just gonna go with the Stampin' Spot today and hope it works out. So, and I think I'm gonna stamp these off because Lost Lagoon is pretty dark. So we're just gonna add a couple trees there. And if these aren't perfect, I can always go and replace them with one of the other ones. And then there's this one. Of course, this one's gonna turn out better because that was the very first time I had stamped that image. So actually, let's use one of our spares. What did I do with them? Here they are. Now, so when you get your photopolymer stamps, I guess I can throw a tip in there too. Um, sometimes they need a little conditioning, so you might want to stamp them off once or twice, kind of smudge them, kind of get that extra um, film from the plant. I'm going to turn this sideways. I'm going to stamp one tree there. Stamp off. And like I said, they give you all the directions for the kit, but I just kind of go by the pictures or kind of just do my own thing. So there's one. We'll do two of each one because we're gonna put together six of these nine cards just to show you how quick and easy these go together. I love, love our kits. I did go before I did my video and look, and it looks like All Three Markets has this kit on their website. Of course, prices vary, so we'll do two of that tree. Bring in two more of these. We're gonna flip it and do this one. I'll remember to condition this one first. And it comes with several different sentiments. Um, I'm just gonna do all of my Merry Christmas just to make it easy so I don't have to swap a bunch of blocks around. You could definitely follow the directions, but it comes with a Merry Christmas, a warm Christmas, and a happy Christmas, or and a wishes. So I just kinda like Merry Christmas this time of year. I usually don't say Happy Christmas, I always say Merry Christmas. So I'm glad I stamped these off because Lost Lagoon is pretty dark. I hope you guys have all enjoyed all of our projects that we've given you over these last now 11 days, soon to be 12. Let me see, there's that other tree. So I'll condition this one, smudge him a little bit. 
Okay, then we'll stamp him off. Oops, I almost didn't stamp it off. This is why Stampin' Up! gives you extra pieces, though. Or you could just go with it. It is a handmade card. Is anybody really going to matter if one tree's darker than the other? Probably not. So there's our six trees. Then we're going to come back in with those six pieces. Condition this little snowflake a little bit. And we'll stamp those off. Just add a couple to each card. That one's probably gonna get covered up by a tree, so. I usually go odd numbers in everything I do. So we'll put one there, one there, and one up here. And then we'll go one, two, three. So our kits that we sell are meant to be very quick and easy. They're kind of meant for the beginner stamper that doesn't have a lot of supplies. But they're also good for people like us that are avid stampers that have a ton of Christmas cards to get out and not a lot of time to do it in. I think I have to make close to 160 cards this year. I've been making Christmas cards since September. And honestly, I can say I'm sick of making Christmas cards. I'm sick of it. I'll be glad when I'm all done so that I don't have to make any more. All right, so there's our snowflakes. And then we're going to bring in, and I think I stamped these all off. So I think when I do my Merry Christmas, I think I'm gonna do them all full strength. So I brought in two of the red tags, two of the Granny Apple Green, and two of the Pretty Peacock. And again, we will ink up this Merry Christmas for the first time, and we'll give it a clean, give it a smush so that when we stamp it for real, it comes out a little bit better. Sometimes the photopalmer stamps, when they come, still have a little bit of film on them from when they were made, okay? And like I said, I'm just gonna do all Merry Christmas. It's just my sentiment of choice, but you could definitely follow the directions of the kit and change all of the sentiments to match the cards how they did them. Like I said, I'm already going a, oh, I didn't want to stamp that off that time. I was so used to stamping off. Um, you can follow these directions to a T. You can go rogue and do your own thing. That's the joy of the kits is you don't have to follow the directions that Stampin' Up! gives you. You can just do your own thing. I have seen people in the past cut these cards up and use them as card bases on our normal cardstock. They've cut envelopes up and that, like that, and especially in a, the North America market, paper pumpkin, I see a lot of paper pumpkin people completely disarray their kit and make completely different projects out of it and it's just fun. So that is all of our stamping. And then now we're just down to assembly. How fun is that? So I brought in, here's the envelopes are all the white envelopes with the red liners. You get nine of them for nine cards. And then your card bases. And I realized that I don't even have a bone folder in here. Like, cause I brought pre-made cards that I had already done out in my shed, but I'll give those a good crease as good as I can. But another tip, you don't have a bone folder you can use the edge of your block to smush down the edges so we'll do two red ones two pretty two real red two pretty peacock and two granny apple green so let's do our red ones first and like I said they gave you all the supplies you would need so it looks like all of these layers are popped up um, I tend to mail a lot of my Christmas cards, so I'm going to bring in my Tombow, and I'm going to put these layers down with some Tombow glue, just because I don't want to have to add, stamps are going up, or just went up again in North America, and I don't want to have to add extra postage when I send my Christmas cards, because I send a lot. 
Oops, that went crooked. Good thing I used Tombow. Okay, so we're gonna go that. And we'll just put both of these together at the same time. And obviously, then you can go in and decorate the inside if you want. I will probably come back and put a sentiment from one of our stamp sets from the mini or even the annual catalog when I get ready to mail these. I don't like naked cards on the inside. Now, the directions did not call for palm trees on the cards. You get one sheet of palm trees and cactuses, which I think is fun, but let's face it, I'm from Florida, so when I saw these, I was like, there's no way I'm not using the palm trees that came in there. So then is what you do is you come in and you put dimensionals on all of your tree pieces that you're going to use, okay? And they gave us dimensionals, but I know I have a, they gave us a pack. So we'll go ahead and do that. And I'll just place some dimensionals on our trees. There has been some really fun projects. I love that little gift pouch from Sandra the other day. I'll definitely be doing those. Okay. And then our palm trees. I think I'm gonna have to go grab a pair of scissors because these are gonna need, oops, I don't need three dimensionals. Okay. Maybe we'll just, I don't know. We're gonna put the red one on first. So like I said, you don't even have to add bling to these because they put the bling on them for you. How fun is that? So I'm just gonna put the red tree in the middle and then maybe I won't, maybe I will just kind of tuck. Oh yeah, one dimensional will be fine. I'll just put a little bit of glue on the stem, on the trunk, the stem, as if a palm tree has a stem. Um, see, oh, that's the green snowflake. So I'm gonna just tuck one palm tree that direction. And we'll go one palm tree over on this side. And then, oh, and see, I didn't even follow directions. This was supposed to be higher up so I could put my sentiment down. So I'm gonna have to put my sentiment on the top. Totally didn't pay attention. That's okay. And I'm gonna go with the green. And again, so I'm gonna cover up some trees because I didn't pay attention because I didn't read the directions, people. I'm really good at that. So I'm just gonna tuck my sentiment at the top of this one. Oh well. I'll follow the I'll follow them on the next two cards. How's that? So we'll put our trees down a little further <laughs> to, to give us, oops, that didn't come off. Um room to put our, well, I guess I could, yeah. We'll come down like this, and that way it'll give me plenty of room to put my sentiment up at the top. Oh. So my kids are going to stay with my best friend and her husband and kids this weekend here in town, and I'm flying to Ohio tomorrow to have a little weekend, not a weekend away, because I fly back Sunday morning. And then my husband comes home, and then all of us go back to Ohio next Friday to spend Thanksgiving week with his family. So there's two. So on these ones, we'll follow the directions. And again, I didn't even pull the directions out. I'm just looking at the picture on the front of the card. So it's okay. And our blue, our pretty peacock. And I love how these colors, the real red, granny apple green, and peacock, they go so good together. Okay, and now we'll take two more of our white pieces. And we'll put that more towards the top. The other one. Oh, I forgot my sentiment on my other one. It's sitting right next to me. See, and I'm recording myself so you guys can't remind me that I forgot a step. Good thing I caught that. Okay, let's bring this one back in. Pop 
pop two more dimensionals on here. And I love how they added the sparkles to all these little trees so that you don't even have to add your bling. I mean, you could definitely bling it up more if you wanted to, but I think this, oh, excuse me, is perfect. There, okay. So now for this blue tree, we're gonna use these sparkly trees. If I can pick them up. Oops, there's one. And then, these again just get popped up. Probably two per tree is all we need. So you can, you can follow these directions. You can do your own thing. It's totally up to do, to you, what you do with your kit once you have it in your hands. I am, I'm starting in the new year. Um, I'm gonna offer kit classes for moms and me with little girls about Kennedy's age because these are easy enough for little girls to put together, I think. I'm gonna have dimensionals all over my dining room floor. And usually I don't have that problem because I'm out in my shed, but not this time. Okay, there's one. And I think on this one, we'll use the red sentiment. And then we'll put the pretty peacock one on the granny apple base. So grab two more dimensionals per one. So I'm just putting two on each one. That's why I decided not to pop up that white layer. That's a lot of popped up on one card. Okay, so there's one. And then here comes our second one. We'll just peel off all these backings. Oops, I stuck to myself. Then I think after these 12 day events are over, I think we come back to you guys, if I'm not mistaken, in January for our next event. Then it'll be celebration time, the best time of the year for Stampin' Up, or at least I think so. I love earning free stuff. And remember, again, if you placed an order during this event, you'll get the PDF of our One Sheet Wonder. So there's four of our cards. I probably could have done all nine of these as easy as they are. But I got an early morning tomorrow to get the kids out to my friends, to get to the airport. It's gonna be a busy, fast, long weekend. But sometimes you just gotta go have some fun. So I'm going to the game with my sister-in-law. And it's gonna be a night game. It's currently about 65 degrees in Florida. Our high was about 82 today. And at kickoff for the game Saturday night in Columbus, it's gonna be in the mid 30s. So I'm probably going to freeze, but it'll be worth it to go watch my Buckeyes play. All right, so there's our last two layers. And then we'll pull in the trees for this one. And we'll dimension them all up. And our sentiments. And our dimensionals. Seems really weird to not be replying to your guys' comments because I'm not live. I will have other engagement posts on that day that I will post. I'll be able to post those myself. So look, I even gave you guys a couple tips along the way. If you don't have a bone folder, use, a, use a, the side of your block. Condition your photopolymer stamps when you first get them to get all the 
um, excess material from the plant off from when they're made. It's like a protective film or something. There's one. There's two. stick that one different put that like that I'll put then I gotta put that one up higher too I am gonna end up covering up a snowflake but that's okay maybe I should have adhered the trees and then stamped the snowflakes so that could be another tip for you place your trees before you put your snowflakes down Put this one, and then we're just down to our sentiments. We've got one Merry Christmas here, and one Merry Christmas there. So like I said, this will make nine total cards. I only made six of the nine for you, but I just wanted to show you how quick and easy our kids are. So there's my Merry Christmas and Merry Christmas with my palm trees. So there we have it. And you would get three more cards out of this and you would have extra pieces when you're done to make cards using other cardstock and supplies you have on hand. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, we've enjoyed the 12 days of Christmas with you. We have one more day after this, which is Sunday. And then we will see you at our next event. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.